Hello everyone, Danny from Hotspot over here. Today I want to show you the latest feature that we just added a couple days ago, which is the direct integration with RAG hotspots. A couple months ago there was a big update on the Helium network where all the hotspots became light hotspots. Each hotspot will no longer carry the whole Helium blockchain within the device, making the device much lighter, using less bandwidth, and it's not going to have the problem with relayed, also hotspots getting out of sync with the blockchain. This is really great for the Helium network and for the growth of the project, but there's one problem that came with it is that there are no more information about the hotspot on the blockchain. For example, if the hotspot's online or offline, if it's actually working and transferring data or not. So we work together with Mint for this feature and we hope to and also partner with other hotspot manufacturers for this. But what it does is that we have a direct access to all the Mint hotspots on Hotspotty. Let me give you an example. So if you go to Hotspotty website, you can click on Makers and let's go back to the Mint hotspots. You can see here the hotspots there in Lisbon. I can click on any one of them, for example this one and it can show diagnostic. What it does is to connect directly to the hotspot and fetch live data. As you can see here, you can have the information for which validator it's connected to. The last time that it submitted any LoRa package for this one is two hours ago. It's connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. It could be, for example, Ethernet. And there is the quality of the internet. So the internet most of the time is pretty good. There's just one time here that it wasn't that good. You can see the small line. Every hour, the hotspots make a speed test so that you can see here how the internet quality changes over time. Other information you can have for the what's the maker, what is the model of the rack, for example, it's a rack spot v3. Uh, you can see here it's 4 gigabytes of RAM. The SD card is a 3, 32 gigabytes SD card. And also have the temperature, it's like 48.2 Celsius of the CPU. Um, you have the information of the minor version, also the firmware version. That's something that you can keep track on of your device to see if it's been updated to the latest firmware from Helium. One thing that we didn't add here, for example, you can see the Mac of the Ethernet port, also the Mac of the Wi-Fi, it's something that we're not showing. We only show this if it, uh, this device is actually yours and is also verified. Let me go example of one of my hotspots. We got hotspot here, gigantic eggshell raven. You can see it's a cow chip hotspot which is the manufacturer of Rack, and then you can go show diagnostic. Here you can see that this one is connected via Ethernet. The internet speed is being stable. It's not connected to any validator, but I'm also sharing the MAC address for Ethernet and Wi-Fi. And also the temperature is a bit colder. With this feature, we hope that all the users of Hotspot is going to have much more clarity of what's happening to their devices, if the devices are online and working or not. Rack was the first maker that integrated this feature with us. We are hoping to partner with other manufacturers to add this information for all of them. Mint slash Rack was the first company that integrated the system to Hotspotty. We hope to have this going to also all the other makers and we believe that it's going to make the network much better, help you understand your device and reducing the customer support from the manufacturer. If you have any questions, please send us a message on Twitter at Hotspotty or get in touch with us on Discord with hotspotty.net slash discord. See you next time. Bye.